Everyone, lovely question here. We want to take 100 meters of fencing and construct a rectangular enclosure with a maximum area. So for example, I could construct the following, which would be an enclosure of one meter by 98, 98 square meters, or the following 10 by 80, 800 square meters, or even the following 45 by 10, 450 square meters. As we can see, as I change this value here, the area changes and at some point it'll start decreasing. So we want to find out the optimal value for the length of this rectangle to find the maximum area of the shape. So there are two ways that we can do this. One is simply to plot a graph of the equation for the area. Now in this case, the length of the shape is x and the width would then be 100 minus 2x. So the area is x times 100 minus 2x, which is 100x minus 2x squared. And if we look at that, this is actually a quadratic equation and we can plot a line based on this function. So if you use something like Desmos or GeoGebra, it will give you the following output. So in this case, now this line represents a change in the area with respect to changing the value of the length of the rectangle. Let's have a look at this point over here. So this is the turning point, and this actually gives us our maximum value for y, or in other words, the maximum area. And it'll also determine what the optimal value for x is. So we could just read off the graph down to the x-axis. So x would have a value of roughly 25 meters, giving us a maximum area of around about 1,250 meters. So that's not bad, but let's see if there's a more accurate way to do this. If you are enjoying the video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't done so already. So method two, this is going to be through differentiation where we are going to find a gradient function for this line. Now the gradient function, also known as the derivative, just represents the slope of a function at any given point. It's a formula that provides the gradient of a curve at any value for x. Now the reason why the gradient function is important is because we don't actually have a gradient for this line specifically. Now we could manually calculate the gradients at any given point. So for example, this one by drawing tangent lines. And what you really do is you find out the gradient of this straight line. And we know how to do that. It's just the change in Y over the change in X. So if we look at this point, we could also construct a tangent line and we could calculate the gradient here as well. Um, and in fact, the gradient here, we know what it is. It's a horizontal line and the gradient is zero. Now, the nice thing about gradient functions is that if you have a value for x, you can work out the gradient at that point. And if you know what the gradient is at any point, you can calculate the value for x. So that's what we're gonna do now. So first things first, let's get the gradient function and we do that through differentiation of the equation. So we will take the exponent of x and multiply it by its coefficient. So two times minus two is minus four then subtract one from the exponent. So it'd be two minus one is one, so it'd be minus four x. And on the side, it would be one times 100 is 100. And then one minus one is zero, so x to the zero is one. So this, we now have our gradient function of minus four x plus 100. As we said earlier, if we know what the gradient is, in this case zero, we can substitute that into the equation and set the gradient function equal to the gradient of zero. Now we can calculate x by adding four x to both sides. So four x equals 100. Divide everything by four, so I know that x is 25. So now I know that the value for x at the turning point is 25. So in other words, the value for x here, or the optimal value, is 25 meters. Substitute that back into the equation to find out what the value for y is at this turning point. So x is 25, 25 squared is 625 minus two times 625, minus 1,250, plus 250, y is 250, so that's the maximum area for this shape. That is a lovely question. As always, if you do enjoy the videos, please consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you.